What's up, everybody? Richard back today with another reaction video. Actually, right after this video is uploaded, we stream live over on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Richard Jammer. I'll be going over the news around the metal world from this past week for an episode of the Warped Report live over on Twitch. So if that interests you, come on over, check that out. But other than that, playlist, merch, all that's all those links are down below. Let's go check out Windrunner Lavender. Here we go. Cause we don't know. Watching how the sun just runs and fades Cause we've been up no, no. Thinking about those kids who lived a perfect life It's gonna be Okay. Okay. No, okay. Okay. Kind of a long fade out here. Oh, 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 jeez. Sorry. Oh, Giovanni. I know Gio. Oh, hey, Gio. All 
right, so that was Windrunner Lavender. Yeah, so I, I will say the fade out, I'm not, because I, I don't know if this is part of an EP or an album, so maybe the, the fade out is there for an artistic reason, but as a standalone track, I'm not really a big fan of like the big long fade outs. But this song, I, I immediately like, I kind of was going back and forth in terms of like a comparison because I, I was thinking of like Sleep in the Sea Part 2 with Dayseeker, but that song was a little bit more heavy. But it definitely had a lot of this sound in there, especially like, um, you know, like Garrett's uh, vocals in the breakdown. This kind of reminded me of like, in some ways, like a gentier, softer version of that. Um, so I, I'm sure I'm not sure if the, this band is inspired by Dayseeker or anything like that, but that's the vibe that I got. Um, I think for me personally, uh, you know, like as a go-to style, this isn't really my thing, right? Like, I appreciate it, though. It's really unique and interesting. Like, it's definitely not anything that I've heard recently. Um, then again, I don't really listen to this style too, too often, so that could be part of it as well. But it was, like, super, like, melancholic, and you could feel the emotion in the track, but you also had, like, these big, just, like, down, 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 like, these big, just open, genty riffs. Which were which were really interesting. So there was such a contrast there, but um, yeah. Again, as a, st a personal uh, flavor, not really my thing. But again, I can definitely appreciate this, and I can understand. Uh, you know, this is on Dreambound. This is right up the Dreambound alley, so to speak. And yeah, like I said, it kind of reminded me of like a softer, gentier version of Day Seeker Sleep in the Sea Part 2. But with that, guys, come check me out over on social media. All those links are down below my Twitch, which I'm going to be streaming live right after this. Come on over, hang out. Patreon, uh, playlist, all that stuff. And um, yeah, till the next one, peace.